She thinks you're a simp. Due to her personal experience dealing with Betamon, remember all those guys telling her she's beautiful for no reason, all these guys, you're amazing, you're great. All of the crap TV and movies portraying men as big dummies. You guys know that, right? This is where guys get the whole happy wife, happy life concept. They see rom-coms, sitcoms, where the, men is, the man is the buffoon. This is all the ploy from people way up above. They got a whole agenda, a whole agenda that leaks down. Feminism was created by a whole agenda from other people. And it's working. They did, they're did. they breaking apart relationships or whatever. But just know, because of all this, she thinks you're a simp. Smart men use that knowledge against her by using her own game on her or simply not playing the game. Now, a simp is just, just think even you're a simpleton. You're just so basic. So what I mean by that is, is women think guys are dumb as rocks when they talk about because Remember, they can say something because remember, us men, we communicate so um, uh, like straightforward that that's simple to women because they have that yarn brain. We have this, they, they think we're simple, simpletons. That's why they can manipulate men so easily. We're simps. We're just a bunch of dummies. <laughs> that, that's, and the TV tells us that. The media tells us that, that we're dumb, we're the patriarch, we're this, that. Or just dumb cavemen. You, that's what I mean by simp. She just thinks you're a basic guy that doesn't understand her. And so if she thinks you're a simp, she can take advantage of you. Now, the way that I use this to my advantage is like last um, month in the webinar when I mentioned how on my online dating profile, I show the, the long-term parts on my profile. I like, I, I, I'm okay with a girl thinking I'm a simp because by her thinking I'm a simp, then I can confuse her completely. So like, for instance, when she's looking for the guy that's going to be a Betamon provider, oh, he's good with kids. He's got a career. He's this, he's that. Oh, he loves animals. He's, he's going to be a softie. She's going to think she can manipulate a guy. I'm okay saying, Hey, here's my card. Hey, I'm just a simp. Here you go. Hey, look at me. And then, by the way, I text her, by the way, in person, and I just don't put up with crap. Then she goes, wait a second. I thought this guy was a simp, and now I have no idea what he's thinking. I can't figure him out because simps will tell um, – okay, and let me give you an example of a question I wrote down that I got from a guy. And and, and I'm going to tell you what why women think men are simps. His question was, how can I text her – how can I text a girl every morning and all day? And how can I flirt with her and make the, in, the chat interesting? So this guy wanted to text a girl all morning, all day long, flirt with her and make it interesting. Okay. That is the definition of what men are to women in a lot of cases, right? She thinks we're buffoons. So, uh, and, and this is why I tell a lot of guys too on online dating, it's a process of elimination. I don't force anything. Other guys weed themselves out. Simps weed themselves out and then girls keep coming back to mind going, why isn't he reply? Why did he reply so short? It's literally, it's like a, it's like a disassociation is why my attraction raises because she literally thinks you're a simp. She thinks she can control you. And the game is that when she can't control you, when she can't figure you out, AKA the alpha males, AKA the Chad and Tyrones that she can't figure out. They don't, they're not simps. They don't just do everything for her. They're not just like, oh, hey, you want money? Here you go. The, when, when they can't figure you out, because women think you're a simp at the start, when you understand this, you can use that to your advantage. Know what she probably thinks you're going to do. And then because of that, you do something different. And the last part here, this is the very last slide for you guys to remember. Think that women are cops. Think of women as cops and you got to know your rights. So when you're communicating with women, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you. Exactly. Plead the fifth, Chris. So that is the thing to remember with women. The more you say, again, women have this psychology game so down. Remember, they've been doing this since they were teenagers and even before that 
They've been, they read in Cosmos. They're, 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 they're so far socially ahead on that part that the more you say to her, the more she can use against you. And the beautiful thing is, any real life examples? Um, yeah, I know, Dale, you know, I was going through, I was going through my phone too. And I was like, dang, if I had more time, I could have put a bunch of different text examples in here. Uh, let me see if I can give you some, Dale, of, of, of like, um, uh, well, well, okay. So when I think of, when I think of like relationships, uh, let's just say you fell into that normal relationship. And I know a lot of guys that are strong men outside of, um, yeah, yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll be, a, there's a lot of ways that I mean this, but if you keep this in the back of mind, you'll, you'll at least respond more cautiously every time. But let's just say that you're in a relationship. Okay. Again, I wouldn't, <laughs> but when you're in a relationship and everyone around you is telling you that you need to communicate with her, you need to tell her how you feel. Okay. When you tell a woman all your deepest, darkest insecurities, you tell her that you're afraid of being alone. You tell her the, the things that you actually probably want to get off your chest because you want to share your deepest, darkest secrets, right? Whenever you give her information like that, remember, women will not fight fair. They have, they don't have the same thing for, they don't, they don't have the same like mutual respect that us guys would have. It's like, that's a secret. Don't say anything. You know that women tell their the secrets to their girlfriends and all that stuff. But yeah, the deepest, darkest secrets you might have, that girl now in court will bring up all of those deepest, darkest secrets. Again, her hypergamy, when, when, if, it get to that, if it got to that point where you guys got in a fight, she will use your psychological secrets in warfare. She will make you feel like a little man. If you if you're if you're worried about your penis size, for instance, she now knows what can she do to get an emotional reaction out of you when she's not getting in her way, when she's mad at you, she can psychologically cut you apart. Think of the movie Mean Girls. Women psychologically, they know how to manipulate people in really So when I say women are cops know your rights, I don't tell women personal stuff about me. And if I do, it's part of my own plan. I might tell her something. Hey, yeah, you know, if she's like, okay, well, hey, you're always working. You're always working. What do you, why are you always working? Why are you always working? Okay. If I finally, if I finally have like, oh, you're always working. And why are you always working? If I finally go, all right, fine. I'll tell you why. Go. Um, because, you know, I want to be a millionaire. You know, what if I say something like that, right? I, I want to work really hard because I want to be a millionaire and be able to retire early. What if I said something like that, okay? I use the, the smart way to say that. Why? Because she goes, oh, he's working so much because he might be a millionaire. God, you better know I want this guy around when he's a millionaire. So now what's she going to do? Be on her best behavior. You're a guy going places. That is what I mean by use this game against her. The other things that I used to do, and this might not be a perfect example there, Dale, but what I used to do is I, I was scared I have so much self-development books, so many self-development books, um, just about bettering yourself. I remember thinking years ago, well, it's nerdy to read or, or women will think that's not cool. If you have self-development books, it's going to, it's going to be like, oh, you, you, you had to have books to become a better man type thing. So that might be something where I was afraid to even display it, hide my books. She's coming over, hide my books. Whereas now it's like, wait a second, wait, 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 that's strategic. I know my rights, but you know what? I'm not going to tell her how much of a reader I am, but you know what I'm not going to do? I am not going to put away my book goal. If my book goal's in my room that says I'm going to read hundred books this year and I'm marking off every time I read a book. All right. Whereas before, if I were to take that and set it away, oh, she doesn't want to see that. Now, Hey, I put that up. She remember context matters for women. She's going to be scanning it, boop, 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 scanning everything. Oop. Book goal, what's that? Mm, walks over. This guy reads 100 books a year. What's that going to tell her? This guy's going places. What's that going to tell her? Her hypergamy is going to go, hey, even if he's not the man I want him to be right now, he might be later. Who? I better be on my best behavior. 
So those are the type of things where if you understand this game, then you can give her Pete clues that will build you up, that will make her more attracted to you rather than give her things that will um, dismiss you. And actually, okay, actually, Michael, you, you'll know what I'm talking about here. Rolo Tomasi, the book, The Rational Mail. All right, and I recommend everyone, everyone read this book. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Gabe. All right, I was a Pokemon guy, Pokemon guy myself, but... Uh, oh yeah, Rolo Tomasi says this, never, never give a reason to a girl not to sleep with you. Don't self, don't like self condemn yourself. All right. So here would be an example of, of remain silent. Okay. And I'm going to tell you, you know what? I'm not going to say who this is in case he ever sees this, but it's, it's a buddy of mine and he wears this as a badge of honor. He's married no matter what he can do. Oh, I'm just the big dummy. She's the brains. She's the better half. Every time he's around his wife, oh, hey, she's the better half. She's the smart one. I'm just the big dummy. What you're doing, you have the right to remain silent. Never give her this ammo of why, why would you ever say, hey, I'm a loser. And now she goes, God, he's a loser. Never give her ammo like that that is going to hurt you because she'll remember all this. She will remember this. And then the next time that you're um, not living up to her expectations, she will be disgusted. She won't feel bad going, oh, this guy was very, he, he has so much humility. He was you know, making fun of himself. No, no. She'll go, this guy's a total loser. Her hypergamy will rationalize it as this guy's a loser. Why would I? Though That's the type of stuff where it's like, do not give her information she does not need to know about. If I tell a girl anything about my hopes and dreams, it's like, and here's one for me. And I think I've told you guys this and it was that like, I want as someday to be um, part of a Disney movie on the Disney team. I want to do some type of on a movie like editing, writing. I don't know. At some point I want that in my life. That would be something that would be okay. Right. That's okay to tell her because it's not like an insecurity about me. It's like, Oh, she hears that this guy has big dreams. He has big aspirations. She tucks that away. And remember, she goes, wow, this guy is someone I want to be around. Those are the types of things you would want to give, but not something like, I'm, I'm, I'm so scared of a girl ever cheating on me. I'm so worried that would ever happen. I hope you never do that. She now knows the thing that, that can get under your skin more than anything. And again, if she gets bored, she's going to want to spike some emotions back in it. She's going to want to entertain herself. So she will use those things and unfortunately drive a lot of men mad. Yeah. The relationships are business for women. Marriage is, is business for women. There is no, there is zero, there's zero, um, advantage for a guy to get married. Like there's zero advantage. There's literally no advantage. The only one I say is if you have children, it's better to be in a two person household. But as far as the actual thing, there's no advantage to being married because all the all the systems, all the laws are are put towards women. So it's just and the thing is, you can't rationalize with women. You can't tell her, hey, you're we want a more dominant man. It's better for you. She ha you just have to do it. So I, I, you've uh, I avoided all out rape in the courts. Good, Chris. I'm glad to hear that. Some guys haven't. And some guys have, um, and there's so many things that I, that I'm, I would say maturing is a man learning this stuff because again, uh, I always thought, Oh, marriage is, why would, why would anyone want to get married when they could sleep around? That's like my, that was my point of view. Why would anyone get married when they, when women can tell them what to do? And then in my head, I was like, well, I could see why a lot of guys are like, it's really hard to get women. So they get one girl and I was like, okay, that makes sense. I guess if marriage is what you want, go for it. That's awesome. But when I looked into it and it's like, wait, everything is set up against men. It's not only, oh, marriage is like, I can't excuse that as a good idea anymore. I have to be like, no, no, that's not a good idea. I, it's not a good idea for men unless marriage laws change, which I hope they do. I really do because or else society won't have, um, they won't have, you know, that, that strong family bond anymore. There were, so if you guys have questions now, I, I'm going to be looking in the chat to do them. Uh, I have a couple that I wanted to make sure to go over to from Roundtable Community. I don't know what the right number of women is, but the wrong number is definitely one. 
<laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good. Don't forget, subscribe, like, comment, share the video, but definitely subscribe. Peace.